Hello folks and um, welcome to this week's vlog. I'm on my way to Dorset and I'm returning to a place that I last visited at New Year on the bank of holiday. So I'm off to Durdle Door and uh, I got some nice sunset pictures of Durdle Door. I also got um, a couple of astro shots of the, uh, the Milky Way but it was on a, a night when there was a bit of a moon and, um, and I was looking east towards some lights, some street lights and stuff uh, in the far distance. Uh, so there was a fair bit of light pollution as well and I thought it would be great to come back on a clear night at this time of the year so this time of the year being toward the end of May and uh, it's a clear night it's a moonless night as well and it's at this time of year when you can actually see the galactic center about between about six nine degrees above the horizon uh, and if you position yourself right on the beach then you can see the Milky Way above Durdle Door and uh, the arch of Durdle Door. So that's what I'm going to photograph tonight. In fact, I'm not only going to photograph it, I also want to try my hand at an astro time lapse. Never done that before, and uh, it's going to be a bit of a challenge. So I've got two DSLRs with me as well as my iPhone and about as much photography kit as I can carry. So I'm really looking forward to this. And just to add to the wonderful experience, it's warm, it's about 24 degrees at the moment. There's not a cloud in the sky, which I'm delighted with, having been planning this for five months. And, and I am getting to indulge one of my guilty pleasures along the way, listening to Bob Harris Country on Radio 2. Come on. So welcome along. Nine minutes past seven o'clock. This is Thursday evening on BBC Radio 2. Between now and eight o'clock, it's Bob Harris Country. getting up, which means we won't have a nice smooth sea, a little bit of waves there, um, but I'm not too worried about that, I'm not really worried about that, I'm not here to do a sunset shoot, in fact the sky is going to be really boring tonight, so it just isn't the right kind of sky for, for sunsets, there's no cloud interest there at all, I'm here to shoot the stars. bunch of rabbits on the path down there. Probably a little more friendly than the herd of cows I just walked through. Got to be really careful of cows this time of year. Um, partly because if there's any young'uns, their uh, mothers, the cows, will be protective of them. But also they're a bit skittish, the young ones, and a bit playful. And um, they came kind of running up to me. <laughs> there was it was a bit scary. I had to uh, had to shout to ward them off. Anyway, I don't think I'm going to have that problem with these little bunnies. And in the distance up there, you can see the just silhouetted against the hill there. Some of the cows that were rather more interested in me than I think was reasonable just now. Here we are at Durdle Door. It's 
just after sunset and now I need to decide where exactly is it that I choose to take my pictures from. Tonight's really about the Milky Way so I think I'm going to go down on the beach. I've got to be one place or the other so I have to make a choice. I'm going to go down on the beach uh, and then I'm going to find my optimal viewing point from there. I might wait a little while and in the meantime I'm going to break open the Photo Pills app because that should give me, um, using the app, a good representation from here of what the Milky Way is going to look like later. In the meantime, just enjoy the view. say I'm really impressed with photo pills. I would say it's not the most intuitive application I've ever used but um, it's certainly done the job and it's helped me immensely in planning exactly when I need to be here predicting when there's going to be no moon. I mean that's relatively easy to find out but to also find out when the galactic core uh, is going to be visible albeit very low on the horizon I'm not worried about that. Um, to have a combination of those two things and then to be able to pre-visualize almost exactly where I need to be uh, on the beach. Um, that's pretty impressive and so uh, hopefully the sky is going to stay clear and uh, my five months of planning will not have been in vain. Well, hi folks, um, I think the time is probably something like about 22.11 uh, at night, obviously, <laughs> that's why it's dark. <laughs> that was a stupid thing to say. Um, anyway, it's about 20, 20 to 11, I think. So we're um, more than an hour and a half, hour and three quarters after sunset, but there's still residual light in the sky. It's certainly not dark enough for um, photographing the Milky Way as yet. So I'm going to try and get about um, an hour's sleep, I think, a little bit of a kip um, before. Um, before I start a bit of a shoot. Um, I have got my other camera here, I've got the D5500 but um, it's, it's really not ideal for doing this kind, of, this kind of stuff. So I won't be doing a lot with that but I will do the odd still here and there but in the, for the main part I'll be relying on the D800 uh, to, do the, uh, to do the actual time lapse. Okay, so it's about um, half past two now in the morning and um, I've got to say, I think that's been a really successful shoot. There's been a lot of photographers here and I've <laughs> got one or two pictures of people taking pictures, that kind of stuff. And uh, really, really pleased I think I'm going to have a really nice time lapse there. All the effort in just making sure everything was just right hopefully will, will have paid off. So um, I'm really tired, I'm going to go. Uh, I may just pick up one or two shots as I as I leave, but been a great uh, been a great evening. And um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. And if you have, do like and do subscribe and all the usual stuff. And I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye for now. <laughs>